All right, we move along now. Now, everybody wants to know where Jelani Jenkins is going to play football next fall. But that announcement, not for tonight. It's for another night. Tonight, it's all about the Maryland Crab Bowl. High school football all-star game pitting the best from the D.C. side of Maryland against the best from the Baltimore area. It is my pleasure to welcome good counsels Jelani Jenkins and the president and founder of the Maryland Crab Bowl, Chuck Harmon, to Washington Post Live. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Now, Jelani, now, this is all Maryland guys you obviously you're playing on the dc side yep. at, at good council how many of the guys on your roster do you know i know about 10 people you know that are have played schools near good council and that i've known for a little bit you know there's five people from my team and then there's a couple that i've met you know playing against them or playing you know in the same area a little bit different though playing in an all-star game than it is suiting up like when seeing DeMatha on the other side of the field. Although I'm sure after that game against DeMatha, you're ready to go back and hit somebody again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now I had to play with them. I have two people on DeMatha that I had to play with. So, you know, I am ready to go back out and hit because, you know, I'm not done with football. Chuck, this is one of the better all-star games in the country. I mean, none other than Rivals.com, one of the most respected, you know, recruiting websites in the country. I would think all the top five. Top five, yes. That's a pretty impressive. Congratulations. Well, uh, well thanks. It We're, just speaks to the talent well, in Maryland. That, that's what it is. And this year, Russ, is the most talent that's ever been in the state of Maryland. We expect in this game upwards of 60 kids that are going to sign Division I scholarship offers or Division I AA. That's unheard of in the state of Maryland. And we're just very fortunate that uh, we've had uh, a string of good luck. And guys like this decide to play in the game and really helps us out a lot. So, and on the Baltimore side, you have that, you have a kid like Tavon Austin, who's an incredible running back out of Dunbar, getting ready to play for a state championship on Saturday. So we're really excited about everything that's happened so far. Yeah, the Maryland Crab Bowl is December 20th. It's at Johnny United Stadium at uh, uh, Towson University, one o'clock. You can get your tickets at Ticketmaster right now. And uh, where do you draw the dividing line? You know, this week's an interesting week in this area in general with the Redskins getting ready to play against the Ravens. And it's sometimes it, that line gets, gets blurred a little bit between the fan bases so how did you you know decide where to draw that line well my partner Sean O'Connor and I had a real tough decision to make because traditionally that the power areas where there's mostly the top recruits come out of the DC area which is Montgomery County and Prince George's County and in the last few years has been Southern Maryland so with all the talent that's down here we basically had to say okay Southern Maryland, Prince George's, Montgomery's on one team, and the rest of the state of Maryland <laughs> is on the Baltimore team. So just to make it fair, because right now we've got 30, uh, almost 30 kids that have committed on the D.C. squad already. That's great. I mean, that's great. It's a lot of kids right that's there. That's a lot of kids. Um, all season long here on the show, every Monday, we release the brand new Washington Post High School Top 20. And you see all these teams from Southern Maryland. You see a lot of Virginia teams. You see you know, teams that, that creep up and take you know, Howard County and, 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 and places like that. Jelani, when you see about other schools that are doing well, I'm sure you get curious about other players that are considered big-time prospects. Do you look forward to you know, you're getting in practice with these guys and kind of physically sizing them up, seeing how you size up against them? Yeah, you know, we, we, I see some of the players on you know the internet or you know i see them in the newspaper and you know you are curious at times how they play and all that so you know it's going to be fun playing with my fellow you know maryland players and you know i'm excited to you know meet them and you know hopefully we play on you know, jelani college. like a lot of guys on these teams you play offense and defense for good yeah. counsel in the all-star game and chuck you could probably answer this too are guys mainly playing their main positions here or are you going to see guys going both ways well we selected kids because a lot of these kids go both ways like jelani plays fullback and he plays linebacker we selected jelani in the game as a linebacker um, a lot of kids like tom croniger who's the quarterback at damatha mm -hmm. he's the quarterback but he also plays strong safety so we selected him as a quarterback now that could change depending on injury situation like what we tell some kids that, hey, you know, you could be just as good of a linebacker as you are a fullback. If there's somebody that's injured and you want to play fullback and we, we need you, be ready. But primarily with the kids that we have, I mean, everybody's a starter on the team. We, we're going to try to play everybody equally. It's, it's a little hard to do that. But, uh, you know, if Jelani wants to play every down and, you know, Jelani can play every down, but <laughs> I, I don't think that's what Jelani wants to do. Jelani's a team player, and and we've got most of those kids. And, and, you know, the great thing about this is, Russ, is that these kids are not only good athletes, they're all good scholar athletes. I mean, Jelani's 16 years old with, with a 3.9 GPA, SAT through the roof. Uh, we have kids like, like him in this game that makes our game look better. 
Who gets to coach these teams? Well, the D.C. team will be run, uh, coached by uh, Quince Orchards, Dave Mancarini, uh, a great coach, won the state championship last year. Didn't fare as well this year, lost to Sherwood twice. Uh, and the Baltimore coach will be uh, Lawrence Smith of Dunbar. And do they bring their coaching staffs with them along to do this? They have one coach uh, that they can bring from their staff, but we have an all-star cast of coaches. Uh, uh, Down here we have Fred Kim of Seneca Valley, um, Nick Lynch of Suitland, Tom Green of Eleanor Roosevelt, you name it. Baltimore has Mark Mazaros of Eastern Tech, and these coaches I mentioned are state powerhouse, and a lot of them are still going to be coaching on Saturday or Friday, so we're, we're very happy. 200 years of coaching experience in this game and 19 state championships, so we're happy about that. That's a lot of knowledge right there. Jelani, you got this game. I think you got one more All-Star game, the ESPN All-Star game. Do you feel like your your high school, this is it? I mean, last two games of of your high school football career, is that sunk in yet? No, not really. You know, we we played the championship game, and, you know, we lost that. And, you know, know, for a lot of people, it was their last high school game, but, you know, it hasn't really sunk in that these are the last two. And, you know, I just see it as, you know, my football career keep going, you know. I'm not thinking about just high school, you know, the last high school game. And I wasn't thinking about last Little League game. And I'm just thinking about, you know, my football career just, you know, going on to another level. The Maryland Crab Bowl is taking place December 20th. The Johnny United Stadium at the uh, uh, Towson University where they play uh, their football there. It's at 1 o'clock that day. You can get your tickets at Ticketmaster. You can also uh, Call the, uh, the the number there at the, at the Crab Bowl offices, too. You can give us a call at uh, 443-813-1228 or log on to Maryland dot, MarylandCrabBowl.com. That's, you got to spell it now, yeah. MarylandCrabBowl.com. So. Chuck Harmon is the, uh, the founder and president of the Maryland Crab Bowl. Jelani Jenkins, one of the best high school football players, not only here but all around the land. And Jelani, we wish you the best of luck, not only in the Crab Bowl, but in your, in your college decision and, and as you go through that process. And I just want to tell you that if you're going to make an, an announcement, the table is always open for you, my man. If you want to come by on signing day, we'd love to have you. I appreciate it. All right, best of luck to you. Best of luck to both of you guys with Thank the Maryland so Crab Bowl. Time Thank to you. head to break here on Washington Post Live. Brad Jackson and Doc Walker, they won Super Bowl titles with their respective teams. But as the Ravens get set to host the Redskins, which team has the medal to emerge victorious Sunday night? Washington Post Live is back in two minutes.